Hey, what's going on, guys? This is MJ for New Cinema Junkies. Uh, today, I just want to do a quick little video. Um, I'm using this new software. Been experimenting with doing online radio station, an online radio station, and I found this software, which I'll do another tutorial on, uh, just kind of showing you an overview of it, and it's called Radio DJ. It's a free software that you can use to do an online radio station, but you still have to get some kind of um, streaming service in order to get it out to everyone, but at least this part of it, the automation part of it, you can get that software for free. So today what I want to do is show you a quick little video on how to change or customize the logo, because right here it says Radio DJ, that's their logo, and you are able to customize that and switch that out to your own logo. So basically the first thing you want to do is you go into your C drive, which is where they suggest that you install the software. And inside there you have the Radio DJ folder. So we're going to open that up. And if you look, they have here a file that's a PNG image called Logo. Now it's a PNG image because it's a transparent image where when you design your logo, you can have the background still show through so it won't be like a, a box around it or anything that doesn't look that professional. So if you hover over this, you see that it's uh, 200 by 73. So what I did was create a document inside Photoshop that was 200 pixels wide by 73 high and then I designed my logo which is here in this folder so this is the logo I kinda played with myself I'm not a graphic designer but I can do something I understand how to work Photoshop and create something but I've been looking out for other designers to try to get me a new logo that I like better than this one but anyway this will do for now so but this is a square logo so what I did was use this other image here just kind of a scaled down version of that it's a little different and I created that and made it of course a PNG but well, it's a little bit smaller 195 by 53 but it'll still work so what you want to do is take this image here you know what I'll do I'll just make a duplicate of it so copy and then paste here and then I'm going to rename that to logo so once I name that I can just drag it on over here and it's going to ask if I want to replace that file see yes I want to replace that file okay action cannot be completed because of, all right so this is what we're going to do I'm going to close out a radio DJ which is why it wouldn't let me replace it and then I'm going to try that again so that was went through that time so let's open radio DJ back up again okay where'd my logo go oh I'm sorry here you go click that to open it up I don't need that now just drag that open and voila there you go mix 95 is loaded up I have it customized so you know when people come into your studio or your radio station and it looks more professional because you have it customized for your radio station and not radio DJ well that's all for now this is just a quick little tutorial on how to customize your logo into radio DJ software